What's up guys, this is Michael at the BGCDT Team Center Studios. I'm here today to show you guys how to use Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a 3D modeling software here at the Team Center. We use this software for 3D printing. And to get to Tinkercad, you type in tinkercad.com. And if you already have an account, you press sign in, put your username or email, and you put your password, and it will bring you back to your account. If you're new, then you press join now. Make sure you have an eligible email. You put you put your birth date. Then you press next. Okay, I should get rid of it. I'm just gonna put January first. Uh, the time. And then you put your username that you want your name to be. Put a password for your account. Your parents' email or your personal email if you already have one. Press create account, and it will. Make an account for you, you can start doing stuff. But I already have an account, so. Okay. So it'll bring you like this, but it won't be called Project uh, 1 most likely. And it'll be blank, showing that there is no projected models that have been created yet. You press create, press 3D design. And it will load up, it will bring up a work plane, which is where you are going to be moving around your objects in, uh, or 3D models that you've made before. And to change the point of view, like move around, you right click to move the, um, your point of view. And to zoom in, use the scroll bar. And if you want to move uh, to a specific place or just move to the right or left, you hold down the Cursor, you press on the cursor bar and it'll bring you um, can move it like this and to place on objects for example cube cylinder sphere whichever one you want to start off with you click and hold and you drag it to the work plane and to make the object bigger or smaller you can either drag you press on this square or whichever one of these four you can press on it, make it longer, make it wider, or you can just make it overall just smaller in size. But just in this example, I'll just make it about this size. And then to make it make it shorter or taller, you press this cube right here. You can drag it down to make it shorter or up to make it taller. But for this video, I'll make it shorter. Because we will be doing a keychain. So, the measurements for this is millimeters. At, you can ask your library or wherever you're going to print, or just if you're going to print, then you need to know specific size of the 3D printer because you don't want to make it too big because then it won't be able to print everything. Or if you just want to create a model, then you can just make it whatever size you want. But it does measure in millimeters. Make sure it's a one millimeter. And if you want to know by inches, inch there are twenty five point four or just for short twenty five millimeters in an inch. And to create a hole, uh, like for example a box hole or a cylinder hole, or just I mean a circle hole, you can either drag an actual cylinder or block, and then just press hole and you highlight everything together come to the top right press group or control G press on it it'll create a hole if you mess something up then you can press control Z and if you want to delete something you can just either press you can just press on it press delete or backspace if you want to just create a circular hole you to make it if, because if you want because you want to make a keychain make sure that there is a lot of space for example it's too little space so it might break make sure you put a lot of space in between the side and the hole because then it might if you tug on it too hard it will break off because it's plastic and then if you want them to make sure that the hole is gonna go straight through press this little triangle up here you can move it down or up. Just make sure that the hole does go through everything. You can you can go like this, so you can see. Just 
the, the top and bottom, you can see it going through highlight both of them. You press group or control G. And then to add text, you go to you scroll down, you see text right here. You drag it onto it. Right here was this text, you highlight it. Next basically you can put whatever you want. Like, for example, you can put B G C D T and I'll put that. Most likely your 3D printer will only be able to 3D print one color at a time. And as you can see, it's connected to the, the square right here. If you want to make sure it's grouped together, so if you want to move both of them at the same time, it's, it stays together and doesn't move separately. You highlight everything together, you highlight everything, press Ctrl G, it'll group everything together. And if you want to put another 3D, another 3D project inside of this one, then you're going to have to export that one. You're going to have to import it into this one. And by that, you put import. It should be down here it, once you've exported it. To export, you press export on the top right. Press export. Make sure it's STL because STL is for 3D print format. You click STL. It will come down here. Again, to import it into a different project, press import. And then you just drag it into here. You just drag it into this little box right here. And it'll import it into this one. And if you want to copy something, you can press Control C, click away from it, Control V, and it'll copy the exact same thing. And what else? If you want to name your project so you know what it is, then just click up here. You can put backspace. You can just put, for example, keychain. Press Enter. It'll be name keychain for later use or just so you know what it is that's all for today on tinkercad stay tuned for more advanced tutorials thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe